Welcome to Gas Up the Pacer. I'm Armando, that's Lou, and this is our week nine picks against the spread, NFL style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me tell you. I had I had to be excited because that's what we do. Um yeah. before yeah. before we get it before we get into why we're not super excited this week. <laughs> if you want to follow Lou or I on Twitter, you can follow me at Junior D's. You can follow Lou at Lou, or at Sweet Lou thirty four thirty four. There you go. <laughs> Spit it out. So here's why we're not super excited. I'm 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 kind of excited to get into Week Nine, but uh, our scores from last week, from Week Eight, um, we we had come off a, a pretty decent week. We were starting to come up. And uh, we hit a five and nine bump in the road for both of us. <laughs> you right. It was it was like we were driving along, and they threw out the spikes, and we just boo 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 boo. We just ran over the spikes in week eight. Dude, this making the picks this year. Last year, I'd have made people a ton of money. This year, yeah. what I'm doing for the people is death by ten thousand cuts. <laughs> it is fucking painful. Yes. I'll like typically I'll get you off to a four and one, five and one, five and oh start. Shit, this week I said fuck it. We starting five. We start oh and five. Yeah. Yes, Who sir. loses the first five or six picks in the weekend? That's what this I'm guy. saying. <laughs> this, this guy. guy. <laughs> this person. And this is what I have to say for the season record so far. And last week. This is last week's picks right here. We're starting over. From scratch, <laughs> it's last week's done, and it's time to get into week nine. Let's do the picks. Let's get off and running. So we've had we've had half a season to see them. <laughs> now we turn it around. Exactly. We'll start Thursday night. This is a softball, Lou. Thursday night, Green Bay Packers. <laughs> At the 49ers, the 49ers are plus five and a half. Who are you taking Thursday night football? You know we haven't plus gotten a Thursday night game a right. No, and I'm about to fuck this one up too because I'm taking the 49ers. Okay, you're <laughs> taking it. Hey, you're taking the 49ers. I'm taking the Packers minus five and a half. And one of us has got to be right. We can't push. It's, it's five and a half. It's five and a half. But the reason I'm taking the 49ers, there was one stat I saw when I looked at this. No team since they've instituted Thursday night football has flown and played two time zones away and not won the game. They haven't even covered. No team since 2009 when they put this shit in play. Okay. With and that so said, I said, well, fuck. I guess I'll take that because I look at the better team every week. And the better team doesn't cover. So fucking well, give, give me the team that's least playing at home. With that said, this is know. why I don't this know. Is, this is why I called it a softball. Because the 49ers are decimated. Defense, decimated. Defense is good. The offense, you got Jimmy G. Like honestly, who cares if he's, he's playing or not? He's no, he's, he's done. done. For, he's done for probably six weeks. Yeah. So he's not there. You got the every running back on that roster is hurt. You got George Kittle. Kittle the, Kittle, you got Kittle down for eight weeks. Yeah. The Packers are coming off of a disastrous game against the Vikings, and the pa there's no way the Packers come into this game and just give it away. But I'm I'll saying the Packers what, come in and put a whooping on these guys. I would agree, but the Packers have no running backs. They all on COVID. That's cool. I heard so they called they going, you. I heard they called you, they, and you're and I up. told them, and I told them bullshit, <laughs> bullshit. Keep that check. Yeah. My knee hurt when I got home. <laughs> I can't. I walked up the steps to do this show and put ice pack on my knee. Ah. Ah. But nonetheless, it's Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. That's it. That's that's it. And you me. know what? The Green Bay doesn't have a running back. I'll ride and die. I'll ride and die with Devontae and Aaron. I would too, but when I read that stat, I'm like, hell, I got to try something on a Thursday game because I can't get one right just looking at the better team. 
So I'm going to take me some five and a half points and run with it. All right. The next game is the Lions at the Vikings. The Vikings are minus four. And I'm just going to ride the hot hand and go with the Vikings on this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Vikings on this one, too, because the Lions are the team. If I pick them, they lose. If I pick against them, they cover. Yep. So fuck the, fuck the Lions. So with, the, with this being a minus four, I'm taking the Vikings, and it's going to be a push. So we got me. Yeah, it's 24 20 game. 28 got, 24, 24 20. We got me and you taking the Vikings on this one. And Kirk Cousins, for all the shit I've talked about him <laughs> this season. Now you need him. This, this some bitch better come through. So the the next game on the docket is the Panthers versus the Chiefs. The Chiefs are minus 10 and a half. I got the Panthers. All right. And the reason I got the Panthers is I'm betting on Christian McCaffrey coming back. If he comes back, they can keep the game close. Because they're not terrible. They just they don't have any closers. You know, him no, and Curtis and Samuel can put it up, put enough points up. They're a young team. And I'm yep. going to take I'm taking the Chiefs in this one because, A, the Chiefs have not let me down at all this season. So I'm ri- I'm riding with with Mahomes and Kelsey and Hill and the offense. And they're going to do enough to that young defense that you'll be you'll feel sorry for them at the end of the game. So I mean, don't get me wrong. My boys, my boys going to score me a whole bunch of points in fantasy, which is, what's up, my homes? That's, that's <laughs> just what we do. But I look forward to be 34-24 because Chiefs will keep them around. That could be the do. case. I'm still riding. My, yeah. Chiefs, are my, Chiefs are my ride or die this year. These Just like backs, the Colts, baby. Dude, just like the Colts. <laughs> I'll bet against the Colts every week. That's my ride or die. The next game is the Ravens at the Colts. The Let Colts, me mark you down for the Ravens. Uh, the Colts uh, the Colts are a plus two and a half. And yes, sir, I am taking the Ravens on this one because Phillip Rivers ain't going to get it done against that defense. I'm taking the Ravens reluctantly. You said it's two and a half? Yes, sir. Let me write that down. I'm reluctantly taking the Ravens because... I, they, this is going to be... They should cover because it's they struggle against the best teams in the league. Yes. Anybody else they beat. So they should they should be able to cover that. This will be this will be one of these games where like you're expecting a 20 to 17 game, but it'll end up it'll end up being a 10-7 game. Just because <laughs> you got the the Ravens offense that's been struggling a little bit this year against the Colts defense who's a solid defense. And then you got the Colts offense who's not good against the they have they have uh glimmers of of hope for Colts yeah, fans. Yeah. Against a Ravens defense that's really good. So it has the it has this game could be 6-3. I mean, let's be perfectly honest. But it it, it could be it, it could be an ugly game. The Ravens will win by at least 3. So I'm going to take the Ravens. The next game is the Seahawks at the Bills. The Bills are plus two and a half, and I'm taking the Seahawks, man. I knew you was taking the Seahawks because that's your fantasy football team. <laughs> I, I'm not going to change my pick. It's already highlighted. All, All my right. picks are done. So for some odd reason, I'm taking no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. Wow. Listen, give one of me us, the bills. One of us is doing well this week, and the other ones did not do so it's, well. It, it's it's tanking, <laughs> and I'm tanking for Trevor. Is what I'm doing right, right <laughs> now. <laughs> Fuck Trevor. I'm tanking for Fields because Fields looks amazing. But yeah. nonetheless, this is a 32-30 Seahawk win, and I get it two and a half, right? Yes, you get the two and a half. Here's my thing with this. I don't think the Bills offense can put it. Let me put it to you this way. The Seahawks offense can put up a ton of points. Chris Carson or no Chris Carson. On anybody. anybody. Yeah. The Bills right now, if this was week three, I'd take the Bills in this. Spray would be different too. Well, yeah. The Bills offense has sputtered the last three weeks, four weeks. They haven't really gotten it done. 
a lot of field goals when they should just outright win and score touchdowns. So that's why yeah. I'm taking the Seahawks. I think the Seahawks win by 10. Uh, see, and I look at this a little bit different. I look at this as a get-right game for the Seahawks or for the Bills because the Seahawks defense is dreadful. They're dreadful. Well, well and we'll get we'll get to the we'll get to the Seahawks in our next video. Yeah, we'll be covering in our next the show. So I look for the Bills to score twenty four to twenty seven, and the Seahawks to get around that thirty to thirty four, which doesn't make my pick correct. But yeah. I just think at the end of the day, the Bills will keep it close enough to where my where the two and a half will work. But yeah. I think the Seahawks are walking out of there with a win. All right. Well, the next game is the Bears at the Titans. The Titans are minus five and a half. And I'm going with your Chicago Bears. <laughs> I'm going with the Titans. All right. Because Woo. the Bears, boy, the Bears, all they was waiting on was for me to go, okay, Chicago, I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all blankety blank, blank. You win and that's all that matter. Y'all terrible like I told y'all y'all was. There's the defense is Super Bowl caliber. The offense is middle school. Yes. They are dreadful. That fucking offense, everybody should be released. <laughs> they're talking about, they're so bad, they're talking about benching foes and putting Trubisky back in. How about you put a running back in the backfield? Trade deadline goes by, they didn't even get a running back. How no. Baltimore got three of them. <laughs> go get one of them. How do you not call the Saints and go, hey, we'll give you a first, and this is overpaying, we'll give you a first round pick for Latavius Murray yeah. because he's 17 times better than anybody we have on our team. No, they just kept going. They're fucking terrible. I and love fuck the Bears. Business. I will not pick them again this year. They can <laughs> shit and fall back in it. They're fucking ah. terrible. I love Fuck that the Bears. This, I love that you're this fired up about the game. Good for you. I'm Over not the even, Bears. I'm not even going to give you my reasons for picking the Bears. I'm just going to say the Bears. The Bears. The next game is the Broncos at the Falcons. The Falcons are minus four, and I'm taking the Falcons. And I know you're taking the Broncos. No, I'm gonna take. See here, I'm a glutton Ooh. for punishment. I'm a glutton for punishment. All right. Why the fuck am I taking the Falcons? I don't know because I like to lose games. <laughs> I'm taking the Falcons. I mean, oh, um, never mind. Never mind. Fuck it. I I, I, I quit. I quit. Listen, the, the Falcons can do one thing. They can put up points. They can't defend anybody, but they can put up points. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, I, I can't see the Broncos. The Broncos aren't there yet for me. So No, the Chargers, the Chargers blew that game last week. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how are you going to be up that many points and lose to the Broncos? Yeah. I don't know. I watched <laughs> the game and I still couldn't tell you why. <laughs> you, just, you just watched the play calling completely change. Yep. That coach, Anthony Lynn, man, get the, man, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Moving Just, along. What you doing? <laughs> Boom out. I don't get it. Uh, the next game is the Texans at the Jaguars. The Jaguars are plus seven. And I'm taking the Texans in this battle of one and six who cares teams. I'm taking the Texans because they have the only two players that I can name in the game. You were right. JJ Watt, Deshaun Watson. And that's it. No, yeah. I'm good. All no, right. So let's move terrible. on then. Just stinky game. <laughs> it's it's stinky it's not game. a not a good game. The One next, stinky game to the next stinky to, game. To the next stinky game. The Giants <laughs> at the Washington football team. The football team is minus three. I'm taking the Giants. Neither one of these teams has any business giving anybody points. It should have been a pickle. <laughs> I am I am taking the Washington football team on this, uh, mainly because I have their defense for in fantasy football this week because they're playing the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> but the defense, the the Washington's defense isn't bad. If their if their offense can get something going, I, I think they well, can win like, this game. And I think whoever wins this game is going to win it by four. 
and when I'm you, just when you and I'm guessing yeah, it's going to be Washington. And that's why I'm taking the points. If Washington was getting points, I'd have took Washington. Giants are getting the points. I'm taking them. This game should be a pick. And I mean, yeah. because trust me, both teams play hard. Mm -hmm. Typically, when you get teams with this record, they look like the Jets. Yeah. Who've quit. These teams have not quit. The Giants yeah. should have beat the Buccaneers, except they kind of tripped up and the referees got in the way. Yeah. Because the referees said, listen, we, we know they got potential. Y'all, man, get the hell out of here. Y'all just having a good night. Flag, flag, <laughs> flag. Just call, calling everything back. So I look at the Giants like, mm, you get, you get, I'm starting up 3 nothing. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. I'm, start, I'm All starting right. up three and a half. I'll take it. Well, let's move over and we'll uh, talk. Uh. We'll talk Raiders at Chargers. The Chargers are minus one. I'm taking the Raiders because the Chargers showed me last week to never take them again, unless they play in the the Bears. I am taking the Chargers, dude. I think we only have three. This is yep, gonna... <laughs> three or four of the <laughs> same gonna... picks. This, one of us, this is going to be a disaster this week for somebody. <laughs> one of us is doing really well, and one of us is doing really shitty. Either that, well, you know what's going to happen. We both go seven and seven. There you go. No, I was going to say we about to split all the all the picks that we didn't pick the same, and go have a fucking five hundred record. And you take your five hundred record and shove a square up your ass because we don't pick these games to be five hundred. Nope. No, we do so, not. I'd rather come in here next week and go five. What is there, 14 games? Yeah. I'd rather go four and ten and have you go ten and four. Yeah. Then both of us go seven and seven. Exactly. Go fuck that, man. Make a decision. Exactly. <laughs> that's hey, we've that's all we're doing. We've lost more games this year. I don't even know if you followed it or not. We've lost more games this year by one and a half point yep. than any other year we've been doing this. Yes. And I'm just looking like the half point got us again. Yep, there's a there's a touchdown with 30 seconds left and a fucking blowout. Beat us again. Yep. Yep. What do you know? That team flat didn't show up. Tennessee <laughs> and got your ass whooped by the Bengals. There you go. That's I believed it. in the Bears and they said, no, you had us right the first time. We're not good. We're not really good at all. And they shit on me. So fuck the Bears. If all I have right. not said that in the show. Well, you hit the next game you have. Is the Dolphins yeah. at the Cardinals? The Cardinals are minus five. This is one of the hardest games for me to pick. I won't lie to you. Not me. Because I'm taking the Dolphins. I'm taking the Cardinals. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the reason this is one of the hardest games for me to pick, seriously. Because, and we'll talk about the Dolphins. We got a show coming up. Yep. Sooner or later. We got to get that defense credit. And I'm not talking about because they scored a couple touchdowns last week. Man, they've been in it with everybody this year. They I mean, have. mixing it up. They they have and mixed it up with everybody. I, I just I don't see them doing it. I think the Cardinals offense is too much. They don't have anybody. And if you notice, the teams that the Dolphins defense have, have gone up against in their schedule, and again, we'll get into that and when we do the Dolphins uh, video. The teams that they've gone up against haven't had that one guy. They haven't had that DeAndre Hopkins that they've had to guard. They they haven't had a guy like Kyler Murray really that they've gone up against. They they smack you if you listen. If you're gonna sit in a pocket and throw the ball, they'll smack you to fuck around. You're goddamn right. When the Dolphins face a mobile quarterback with a wide receiver like this. I see it going the complete opposite way. I'm not saying they get blown out here, but I see them losing by seven to nine points with a that's possibility fair. of a blowout. But that, and that's and again yeah, that's, that's and again that's just because you have if Fitz is starting, I might go the other way on this because I know that they can get points with Fitz. I haven't seen enough out of Tua. What I saw last week didn't impress me. It didn't count. Well, it didn't even well, count because yeah. they had so many points coming defense and special teams. Exactly. But it didn't matter. I haven't seen enough out of him to know in a game when it matters for the offense to do well, if he'll come through. So that's why and I'm taking the Cardinals. Okay. The reason I'm taking the Dolphins is because the Cardinals are a team that doesn't play well at home. They had to rally 
and come up with some bullshit to beat the Seahawks at home. They typically don't play well at home. They lost to the Lions at home. Yeah, no, I, I got you. They just don't. They just don't. Play. If this game was in Miami, I'd take the Cardinals. I was taking the home team in this game. It, it, it did, I mean, I'm sorry, the road team in this game. Yeah, yeah whoever yeah, was on the road, I was taking them because neither team is. You know, the Cardinals don't play well at home. If they were in Miami, I'd have took the Cardinals. That, that's the only, that's my only justification. All right. Well, the next the game. The Steelers minus 20 and a half. <laughs> Give me the Steelers. The Steelers at the Cowboys. The Cowboys are plus 13 and a half. I'm assuming you're taking the Steelers then. <laughs> so are you. I am taking the Steelers. Can I mean, you the... name the Cowboys starting quarterback? Outside they of They just Ze- changed it again. Outside of Zeke and Cooper, I couldn't name another player on that team. <laughs> C.D. Lamb. We know C.D. Lamb. Well, yeah. But they just changed the quarterback again. It's not even the, the Italian guy. So I know you pissed. I am pissed. So I, You know I was rooting for the Italian kid. Oh, yeah. And now he got he ain't there. It's it's somebody else. I, 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 hell, I don't forgot his name. You but know why? Because this... Italians are smart, and, and the Italian kid went to the coach and like, I ain't fucking playing with this bullshit. Yeah, I'm not taking that beat. <laughs> it's gonna be a beating, son. Yep. Taking that beating. Just let me. See. My and hamstring hurts for one game. Just play me after this. It's funny game. because you've known me a long time, and ever since you've known me, I've always told you these games make me nervous when it comes to Pittsburgh because yep. Tomlin has a losing record against bullshit teams. Yeah, this is a bullshit team, but they're so bad. I'm not worried about it. The next game is the Saints at the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are minus five and a half, and I'm taking the Bucks. Jesus Christ, this is a disaster. Are you taking the Saints? Are you taking yes. The Saints? <laughs> yes, I'm taking the Saints. I love it. Uh, I love this. This is the first show we've had all season where it's just like every game we're picking against where each it's other. Like, where it's like it was last year. Hey, Last year, this is how it was every week. <laughs> it was like this every week. We had That's all it. different teams. I love it. This I love is, it. What's the spread? The spread is minus five. <laughs> the spread is minus five and a half uh, for the minus, Buccaneers. Minus five and a half. I'm taking the Saints, man. I'm 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 riding and dying with the Buccaneers defense. That's all I'm saying. Oh, this is. Oof. They get Michael Thomas back this week. It's just going to be different. It's just, oh. I, I cannot you. believe. You are legit. You're going to go 3-11. I, I, how hey, did that happen to you? I'm either going 3-11 and 11 or 11-3. Eleven and three. <laughs> You know what? This this 55 or 57, 60, yeah. and 3 bullshit's got to end. So yeah, it's, it's, it's go- Somebody got to make a move. I decided. It, I this guess what's happening in week nine I or week eight, this, whatever week this is. I decided to go with my gut on all of these. What do I think when I look at it? Because when we started the that's season the, and I was doing well, that's what I did. What do I think? What's my gut? What do I think about these two teams? And let's take a look at the spread and pick. Yeah, Instead of doing I mean, that, all this that, research that I've been doing, and that's all I've been doing that is shit losing. Work. The only game I looked at some research on was a Thursday night game. And I was yep. like, so no team has traveled two time zones and, and even covered more yep. or less one. Other than that, I didn't even have a point spread on my paper for Pittsburgh and Dallas and, and highlighted Pittsburgh. So we got the, and I'm assuming this one will be the same, but we have the Patriots at the Jets. The Jets are plus seven. The, you took the, the Patriots? No, I'm just saying the Patriots haven't been playing well. I'm just setting it up. I'm trying to do a show here. Do you mind? <laughs> The Patriots, haven't, the, UPS man pissed me off. <laughs> the Patriots haven't been playing well on offense. Their defense has done pretty well. They gave the Bills all they could handle. It was just a cam f- They had that game won. It was just a cam fumble at the end of that game. Um, the Jets are who they who, who we thought they were. They're 0-8. They're a dumpster fire. Um, who are you taking in this game? Oh, I'm taking the Patriots. I'm, you know I'm not taking I'm, the Jets. <laughs> When you when we started, I was like, "This motherfucker taking the Jets." 
Right. I am taking I'm the Patriots. I'm trying to do a show here. I'm trying to build some suspense. I'm trying to. <laughs> you know ain't nobody taking the Jets. Hell, uh, I used a waiver claim on the Patriots defense because they're playing the Jets. That's how bad the Jets are. So did I. So, yes, I will be taking the Patriots as well. And that rounds out week nine. And boy, man, somebody is taking a bath. Hell yes. Nine different picks. Nine. There's only 14 games, (laughs) motherfucker. (laughs) I might be tearing up another uh, sheet of picks next week during our show. (laughs) And I might have a Muppet here in my place doing the show. Welcome for the moment to the Muppet Show. You might see a sock on a hand doing the show next week. Nine (laughs) different picks. Oh, I, like I think it. it's great. I think it's great. That's the first time this year that we've been this far apart on all our picks. So I'm excited to see what that brings next week. I am going to be like a kid on Christmas come Sunday. Oh, it, it's going to be interesting because I really wanted to. I still want to take the Colts, but I just don't. I don't like Philip Rivers. <laughs> so it. I went on to the Ravens. But I'm telling you, we lose in that game. Uh, we know. Pitch, Pittsburgh upset their apple cart just like they did with Tennessee. That's cool. And the man. Ravens will come out flat and they'll lose on the road just like Tennessee lost on the road yes. at Cincinnati. Wrong. I'll let you talk me into the Ravens and now I'm going to go 13-1. and one. This is just dumb. Could have went 14-0. Uh, well, do you, have anything, <laughs> do you have anything else for the picks this week, Lou? Yeah, fuck the Bears. Ah, fuck the Bears. All right, with that said, for Lou, I'm Armando. This is Gas Up the Pacer, and this was our Week 9 NFL Picks Against the Spread. Get, 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 get.